the image you are taking must be on a white background. Yes. Usiye kiati yapo red, ati mimi napenda blue, kupigo kwa blue. No. Your application will be cancelled immediately. So you should take a picture on a white background. Note that. Not all white backgrounds are white background. Yes. Welcome to Ada TV, your number one online information TV. Welcome back guys to Ada TV, your number one online information TV. If you have not subscribed to this channel, please consider subscribing because we have a lot of content coming on your way. Kama nimefika kwa e channel, makubwa yanakuja. Thank you guys. Yes. Today is not the usual interviews you see on other TV. There is a vital information which I want to pass to you guys. As the, at this time we are applying lotta um, green cards to the United States. Some of you have been asking questions concerning the DV lottery. First of all, what does the DV program mean? DV stands for Diversity Visa Program, which is a US-based program. They invite immigrants from other countries to come to their country to search for greener pastures. There are a lot of ways of applying this lottery program. Na pia kuna scam website za Ziko, which others uh, say you have to pay some amount of money in order for you to apply, of which the lotter application is for free. There is this website, uh, it's called uh, dvprogram.state.gov. That is the official website to apply green card. This program runs from October. Now it's almost ending because it will be ending on 8th of November. So you have 8 more days to apply. Try your luck. But we day to see your Kenya to apply last minute. And e-website most of the time, ikibaki three to four days, wanga ina crash. So, uneza apply like five times, ikikata. So, guys, apply ni mapema to try your luck. Uneza pata chance ya kuenda. Now, there, there are some things you, sh you should do before applying the lottery. The major thing the, they look for is the picture that is the icing of this thing that is the only qualification you get the first step the size the quality and the background that's what they check one when you are taking this uh, photo the size should be 60 by 60 the minimum 60 by 60 megapixel the maximum is uh, 1200 by 1200 megapixel. That's uh, the size of 2 inches by 2 inches. And also, guys, remember the picture must be colored. Be colored. See, to work a picture black and white apple, I don't expect it. Picture must be colored. Now, for the ladies. Jam na panda urembo mingi, kuongeza tu maridadi. But these are the things, ladies, ladies, you should not do when taking the digital photo. One, remove your earrings. Yes, yes, I know you are saying. Nito e na ni sky smart. Oh, wanafa ko na kasle queen. Apo tu nita ju vienyeji. Remove your earrings. Ata inyomega kwa mapua. Toa. If you want to, to win this lottery. That the things you should do. The other thing. 
no wearing of uniform yes i know you asking nimetoka job niko na uni nipigo tu picha niweke no the only people who are allowed to be to take the passport with uniform are one muslim ladies because that their tradition attire all right it's their culture it's their culture so that that is the uniform the, the let me call it uniform that is the attire they wear on a daily basis and also for the catholic priest and the sisters they are allowed to apply with their daily attire but wewe you may wear uniform yako ya job if i go nakana hapo tayari ni x hiyo picha eh uta disqualify immediately the other thing no wearing of spectacles weka miwani yako kando pigwa picha upload ukisiki wezi toa tiju wewe ni upigwe bado nayo that lottery will be cancelled the other thing it should be a recent photo taken i think 3 uh, months 6 months or so or on the material day you need to apply but you should collect all your photos together before upload uh, applying you cannot you reuse a photo you used to apply lottery visa the previous years why how will they know they have still have your database and the details of that photo shows it was used previous and it has stayed over 6 months or a year or something yes so you should not use that photo but there is uh, one trick I, i can give you if you don't have the the money to take the photo you have an old passport you have a digital one which meets the requirement you can receive the photo for it to have new details all right hiyo photo unaweza chukua u save tena ipate details mpya za that day the other thing is the image you are taking must be on a white background yes usiyeki ati hapo red at mimi napenda blue kupigwa kwa blue no your application will be cancelled immediately so you should take a picture on a white background not that not all white backgrounds are white background yes you can take a photo and you find later on the background turn into to gray so what can you do about that you can approach uh, any it expert like me i do some tricks on that photo and it meets the, requ- the requirements and before you take that photo be it on a cyber or a studio tell them where you need to use the photo because if you don't do so they will just take the normal passport and this is not the ordinary passport the passport should not show your shadow all right make sure the photo does not have shadow or you take the photo and on one side it's dark on the other side is bright you will be denied the your, your application will be cancelled the only requirement that and the trick on this lottery is that the the, the only thing they can vet you and know who is this person is through that photo so make sure your photo is right kindly if this video is educative to you comment down below raise your question we'll answer them on time and subscribe for more of this information 
to enlighten you in this digital world, right? The, also, the photo should not exceed 240 kilobytes. That's the size of the photo. And the photo should be in JPEG, not in PDF. I don't know how to convert PDF. We are nani. The photo should be only in JPEG, and the maximum size of the photo should be 240 KB. So you can photo pale 6 MB. Unaikea nani 6 MB. The reason why they have said they need uh, that size is because there are many applicants in the world applying for this lottery. So, if they use that 240 KB and we have a uh, thousand and thousand people applying, they will not have that uh, big data to load all those in information. So, to make their work easier or to make your work easier to enable you to win, do what they say. And you shall win this lottery. Now, guys, kindly continue subscribing to this amazing channel. We have very many amazing stories that will impact your life. Like, share this video. If it's very educative to you, you can share with your friends. Now, let's go direct to the entry form. When you open the entry form, the first thing you get there is authentication code. You fill the code, then submit. Alright? After submitting, the first thing you, 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 you fill there is your name. Now, your name, starting from your last name. The last name is your family name. Kama unetwa kimani wa joroge, uneka joroge hapo. The second name is your first name, the English name you are given when you are born. And the, your middle name, you feel at the, the last part. Then you go to gender. Not, you can, your name, if you are called Kemani and you click on the female part, the system will not no, identify you because you know these names, are, uh, it's you who know you are female or you are male. So if you mistakenly uh, indicate the wrong gender, the system will accept. But at the time you are going for the interview, that thing will work against you. You will be disqualified immediately because of your silly mistakes. Uh, the, the third part there is you feel your birth dates. The fourth, you feel the city you were born. Not the city you were born is the first thing, not the country. You know, people they mistake these things and you fail because of not lack of information, because of your, your, your speed. You need to fill this form, you win and go. But you have to be keen with what you feel because it will work against you at the time of interview. And remember, in this interview, you... Lazibu kube lipa pesa mingi. One, uh, to go for a visa, visa interview here in Kenya, in the United uh, U.S. Embassy, you pay 14000 non-refundable and if you are caught with one mistake silly mistake adikinangop <laughs> so be caution of, of what you are feeling in this form take your time even on on the form is written there you take 30 minutes when filling this form when that means you are going to find all right the fifth part is where you feel the country where you were born. So there is a drop down uh, menu there. You click yes. Weka key yes. Inakuja Kazakhstan. Finya pochini inakuja Kenya. Ah, the other thing 
is your country eligible you know there are cases where it has made some countries not to to be eligible for this visa uh, lot green card application one in africa like nigeria because the uh, of the scam and the yahoo boys there they have caused this thing and the countries where there is a da, 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 war like ukraine etc pakistan where there is civil war so you, you have to feel if your country is eligible and remember you cannot lie to these people because they can they uh, you are you are that is very deep i'll tell you next time uh, the other thing is entrant photograph means you the person applying you put that photo which we have talked about it you upload it there uh, the eight part is the mailing address your mailing address which you want them to communicate to you uh, they will communicate to you via that address starting from may on 7th 2023 that is the time you'll know if you have won or not they will email you and after this process after submitting you'll be given a confirmation code which is very vital and you should keep it you print store it on your email you will confirm if you are already won or you'll try that same year on October again. There is no arm on trying again. Uh, the other thing is a country where you were born. These are two different things. On number on number five, it was country where you were born now on number nine this is a tricky question which you should be very alert with it on number nine it says country where you where you live today or currently if you can also apply you can say you are you are you were born in kenya but you are live in united states of america why and you live there you need the green card because you are there uh, on a temporary temporary basis or you went to visitation or you are working there but now you need the green card to be to be the permanent uh, resident of the US so if you are in US right now that part number 9 you feel the country you you are living at the moment of application number 10 you fill your phone number of which it's optional you can fill or not because you have a, your email so, so right now 11th part you you fill your email address i've seen uh, so many people trying this when you fill your email you you want to copy and paste to that uh, dialogue, dialogue box my friend it cannot hear me well you cannot copy your email and paste you have to type it stop being lazy, stop being lazy. type then you confirm the same email down below there and and make sure you you write the email that you oftenly use because the same email is the one you will it will be used to confirm if you are eligible if you misplace the email you come to open the email 2024 and get you had qualified in 2023 my friend it has expired so be caution with that number 12 highest level of education not this don't lie to the system because the system will work against you at the time of interview see at yet when you just pale at nimeenda university no jenda university my friend utatumia pesa yako na utaenda nyumbani so if you are sure at the time 
at the time of application the level of education you you have been kama ni secondary ndio unajaza pale if it's college you feel it there if you are ongoing with the university course or or an, anything don't feel it there please if you are ongoing with your education don't feel something you have not finished because it will finish you why am i saying that the time you will go for the interview and they ask you for your documents you provide them at the time of uh, application that is uh, november uh, october november 2022 is the time you filled let's say for example you filled uh, october 31st you filled today and your certificate is written you uh, you collected the certificate on november 1st my friend you have gone home because you lied to them you had finished school and yet you, you the certificate is written otherwise so there will be no negotiation my friend your money has gone ita bia yetu wa kenya ya kudanganya ati unaongea una tunaongea present na unaongea future hapo atutaki hiyo future yako itakumangia tu saa hii the other thing number 13 is marital status yes marital status the first option is unmarried so unmarried uh, means that you are single uh, you are not in short you are not married so you feel there the other option down there is married and and your spouse is not us citizen married and your spouse is not us citizen that means you the person applying you are married and your wife or your husband is not a us citizen that means you are married to a kenyan to an indian to an whatever that's where you feel the other option there is married and my spouse is a us citizen so if you are a kenyan applying or a, anybody applying and you are in the you have you are in the us and your husband is from that country that's where you feel ah down there there is divorced you feel and uh, the other thing is widow and the last part is separated not these guys if you are married under customary uh, as we know here in kenya mulipitia kwa dirisha mkaoana it's not you have not legalized your wedding at the attorney general so ndo yenu julikani ni wewe na mtu wako mnajua mmeoana sisi kama serikali hatujui na sisi kama watu wa lottery hatujui so at the time of application get me right at the time of application october that first you don't have marriage certificate previously before applying please feel and marry why am i saying this because your future will work against you at arusi yetu ni next week so najaza saa hii si tutakuwa tumeoa na nijaze uongo utabaki hapa hapa so be conscious of what you are you are, you are saying there so kama you are not married you don't have the marriage certificate please just and married period if you feel you are married or you feel you are single down below there number number 14 the last option there you feel the number of children you have for example you have four you have five you say you have five kids you feel then submit go to next option If you feel the next option because you said you have kids or let's start with the single if you feel you are single you don't have kids the, the your last option will be will be submit so there is not anything that you are going to feel if you submit you get the option of verifying what you have filled 
then you submit then you get a printout of the of uh, your information and the confirmation number that will use you will be used and the email that you will receive your email on may 7th 2023 before noon that you have won the green card if you don't receive it my friend try it on october 2023 the same year now if you are married and you have kids and you have all the requirements it will go to the next tab where you will fill the details of your spouse as the same as you filled yours the applicant then you will upload your spouse photo the email and uh, the address the birth date down below there you will fill the name of your kids and their details for all of them each separately and their photos also not this if you have you feel an uh, if you have adopted a child and you feel the child there and you don't have the adoption decree at the time of application my friend don't feel the kid because if you feel at the time of the interview you are asked for the decree and you don't have you have failed so you can go to the advocate and swear with david that you are the custodian of the kid then you come to apply don't say at in tafanya later or go and uh, backdate the dates my friend it will work against you so be caution on what you apply and remember if the applicant is the husband and you feel your wife as the spouse remember also your wife or your husband can apply individually and feel you as the spouse also the kids so in that family you can have two applicants for the wife and the husband there is no problem because you don't you one can win the other cannot win and also because you have not win and you are the spouse of the the winnie you go <laughs> yes yes please guys continue subscribing to this amazing channel for more of this and guys uh, as we wrap up our today's uh, video remember application is free and you need to, to go to dvprogram.state.gov is the official website to apply 2022 dv lottery thank you guys for following other tv uh, kindly stay tuned uh, there are 13 steps which you apply that undergo after the application i will be taking you through each step by step until you win until you go to the interview do's and don'ts of the interview what you need the requirements to prepare what information you need to have because you need to have your passport the green card the medical information all that and i'll be break down you break down in it to you even the prices of those things Ujipange. winning green card is not only really, is not only winning green card is winning green card and you bear some charges of going of course it's like a business you need to have capital so keep on tuned into this channel and for now you can wrap up thank you for watching see you next time guys adios